Hey everyone, this is a how-to video on all of the knots that will be pertinent to you if you are a beginner at macrame. So I have my cords, I have six cords cut into two yard strips, and let's get started. The first one is a lark's head knot as shown here, and it's pretty much the first step to any wall hanging. So you'll take your cord and you'll fold it in half, put the two ends together so that you make sure it's even, and take the closed end, put it around your hanger, and then pull the cords through and tighten. It's super simple. And then the next one we'll do is a reverse Lark's head knot, which is the exact same, except it's reversed to where the bump is in the back instead of in the front. So you'll take your cord, fold it in half again, and this time you will pull it around behind the hanger, pull it down, and then pull those ends through and tighten. <clears throat> so those ones are super simple and they're pretty much the first step of any macrame tutorial. Um, you'll tie them all along your hanger or if it's a um, dream catcher, you can tie them all along the circle of the dream catcher. So the next one's a vertical lark's head knot. So basically, this is a right-facing one. You take the right cord around the left one and pull through, and then you take it under and pull through. And then you just pull it tight. So we'll do that one more time. So you take it over and pull up through. And then under and pull up through. So that's a right facing vertical lark's head knot. And then if you want to do the left hand side, it's the exact same thing except you use a cord from the left and you will just follow the same steps. So you'll go over, up, and through. And then under, up, and through. And with that, you can also do an alternating Lark's head knot, which is just you do a right one, and then a left, and then a right, and then a left. Okay, the next knot we're gonna do is a square knot. This is one of the most important ones. You'll do this all the time, especially for beginner projects. So take four cords, and the, in, the inside two cords are going to be just filler cords. So they're just gonna be there to anchor the rest of it, and you, the only working cords you're gonna use are the two outside ones. So for a right-facing square knot, you're gonna take the right cord, go over the filler cords, under the other working cord, then you'll take the left cord and you'll go under the filler cords and through the loop. That's the first half of the knot. Now you'll take the left cord, go over and then under, and then the right cord you'll go under and then through. And pull it tight and that is a right facing square knot. So we'll do that one more time. Take the right cord, go over the filler cords, under the working cord on the left. Left cord, go under the filler cords and through the loop. Then you start on the left, go over, under, go from the right, under, over. Now, if you want to do this as a left facing square knot, you do the same thing, but just start with the left cord. So the left cord goes over under, the right cord goes under and through, and then you start in the, and then you do the right over under and then under and through.
And here I'm just adjusting it so we can move to our next one, which is an alternating square knot. This just means you take the two chords from two different square knots and you use them to create a new square knot. So you have four chords, the middle ones are the filler chords, and you just tie normal square knots. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is a right twisting half square knot. So all you have to do with this one is do the first half of a right square knot. <clears throat> and that's it. You keep doing the first half over and over. So you, instead of taking that left chord over, you just start with the right one, go over, under, through. And you can just keep following that pattern over and over over, under, through, and it'll naturally create a spiral shape. Over, under, through. I love these right twisting square knots. I think they're really pretty. Next knot is a horizontal clove hitch. So for these, you're gonna have one cord that works as the filler cord, and it's kind of the anchor for all the rest of the knots to be tied on. And you wanna keep it straight and horizontal. That's why I taped it up just to make sure our, my line is as straight as possible. So I'll take the first cord, bring it up and around to the left, and then bring it up to the right and down through. And that's our first clove hitch. Now I'm just gonna adjust it, make sure it looks like it's going horizontal across. Then you go up, down, to the left, up to the right, over, and through. And there's your second clove hitch. And you just keep going until you've made a straight line across as far as you want to go. This is how far I wanted to go. and then I decided to turn it around and go the other direction. So I'm removing the tape. And now that I've got that line as a base, I don't need any more tape. I can just turn around and go the other direction. So in the other direction, it's the same thing, except you start going up and over to the right, and then you go up and through to the left. It can be tricky in the beginning to get straight lines, but you get used to it the more you practice. Now, diagonal clove hitches are the exact same way. I don't feel that you need to tape them or anchor them at all because they kind of naturally want to go diagonal, so it works out pretty well. So diagonal, you do the exact same thing. You just make sure your line is going diagonally and you go and tie more clove hitches. So you go up, down, and over, up, down, and through. So they'll end up being kind of curved. And it's really pretty. Listen, listen. 
Okay, our final knot is going to be the half hitch spiral. It's kind of similar to the right twisting square knot, except it's with clove hitches. So you just grab however many cords you want to be your filler cords. I have these three, so I'm going to use those. And you take your right cord and you just wrap it around and pull it through. So it's like a half of a clove hitch and you just tie it over and over and it creates that spiral pattern. So don't go behind, you go in front and then around, pull it through. Wrap it around and pull it through. I personally like the square knot spirals better, but these ones work too and they're easier. And there's this beginning of a spiral, but my working cord wasn't long enough, as you can see. You usually want your working cords to be a lot longer than your filler cords with any knot. All right, those are all the knots I think are the most important for beginner macrame artists. Thank you for watching.